Hey, you made it. I was starting to think you weren't going to... Uh, whoa. Is something wrong? Are you okay? You looked out on your feet. No, you're not fine. What's wrong? It's the first week of classes. There's no way you've lost that much sleep already. You cannot possibly have had that much work. Well, then what is it? Is your bed too uncomfortable? Does your roommate keep you up? What? Okay. Why don't you feel safe? Has someone done something or... I didn't know that. Since when can you not fall asleep around people? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that could make anyone a little paranoid. How has I been working with a roommate though? I'd believe not well. You should have gone for that apartment style dorm like I did. But no, you had to want the traditional college experience. Didn't you know this would happen? Ugh, of course you did. When are you going to learn that you can just stubborn your way through anything? Well, it stopped working now, apparently. So are you going to take the hint and figure something new out? But you need sleep. You can't just keep going without it. You're going to start breaking down. Uh, all right, fine. I can trust you. I can trust that you know yourself well enough to have a handle on things. But if this starts getting worse, I'm intervening. I don't know. I'll petition the dean or something. Get you moved somewhere better. Fine, fine. I'll wait on that. For now, you came here to study. Do you think you can stay awake while we learn things? Good. Do you want to start with mythology? Okay, so the professor said that the oath of Tyndarius was incredibly important to the story of the Trojan War, but then he didn't explain any more about it. I guess he figured we'd all know to look it up on our own time. A bit presumptuous, but here we are. I did look it up, and apparently it was an oath that all the suitors of Helen took to protect. Hey, hey! Eyes open. Come on, you need to know this. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. Anyway, right. It was an oath to protect the marriage between Helen and whoever she decided to marry. Odysseus made everyone, including himself, swear it so that there wouldn't be uh, and your eyes are closed again am i that boring to you oh yeah i'm sure you're absolutely riveted by everything i'm saying that explains why your eyes are still closed then this isn't working come on let's go on an adventure follow me Ta-da! My bedroom. You're laying down and taking a nap. You can't study anything like this. I'd be amazed if you even remember what class we're supposed to be studying for. Go on, lie down. I promise, the bed's comfortable. You'll love it. I have a theory about that, actually. What does it feel like when you're trying to sleep and someone else is around? Okay, yeah, that's about what I thought. And that's nothing like how it feels when you actually are falling asleep around me. <laughs> oh, hush. Yes, you are. I think that's because you feel safe around me. God knows why. We both know I'm not trustworthy, but you do. So, I think you'll be able to catch up on some much needed rest here. How tired are you? Then I think it's worth a shot. 
No, no being self-sacrificing, bad. You're not taking anything away from me. I'm not tired. Yes, of course I'll wake you. What, you think I'm going to give up my sleep? Would I lie to you? Oh, don't answer that. Get in the bed. There. Doesn't that feel better? I told you it was comfortable. Mm, I'm probably just going to study while you're here. I'll have time. Who knows? Your breathing might even work like white noise. <laughs> I'm always more comfortable when you're around anyway. Oh my god, you needy little shit. Fine. I know for a fact you can fall asleep on your own, but sure. I'll tell you a story. Just let me sit. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, hey, hey. What are you doing? You can't just grab me like that. Cuddling? How does your sleep-deprived brain even think of that? <sighs> Fine. At least let me turn around so I can look at you. Mm -mm. Whether I like being the little spoon or not isn't the issue. Move your arms, you big lug. Alright. You want a story? Fine. Maybe some of this will seep into your brain while you're out. That's probably the only kind of studying we're getting done today anyway. Are you paying attention? Okay. The Oath of Tyndarius. Tyndarius, as you know, was the king of Sparta, and his daughter, Helen, was said to be the most beautiful woman in the world. Personally, I have doubts, but that doesn't matter. She was hot. As such, she had a ton of dudes interested in her, and most of them were kings and princes. She didn't want to pick anyone, though, because everyone was worried that the rejected suitors might declare war on Sparta and or whichever other nation was chosen. So, Odysseus who was one of the suitors, but not really. He actually wanted to marry Penelope, came to Tyndarius with a plan. He would get all the guys to promise to defend Helen's marriage, whoever she chose. In exchange for this, Tyndarius put in a good word with Penelope, and Odysseus ended up happily married. Those two were kind of the best couple in all of Greek mythology, but that's a different story. We'll get to them later this semester. After that, Helen and Tyndarius chose Menelaus as the lucky groom, which meant that, wow, you're already completely unconscious. I knew you were tired, but <sighs> you're adorable like this. You know that? You look so happy. Does me rambling really make you that happy? I like that. You know, your hair looks really soft from here. I've never been able to do this before because it'd be weird, but let me just... Oh! <laughs> Did you just shiver a little? Can you feel this even while you're asleep? I hope you can. I hope you have the sweetest, most wonderful dreams. You deserve them, you know? You deserve them for how happy you make me. Even if you are an idiot sometimes. I wish I could have done this while you were falling asleep. You needed it so badly. But now we'll do. You have no idea how hard it was for me earlier. When you walked in looking so tired, so beat down. It was all I could do not to just grab you and hold you. Press your head against my chest and cuddle you until you felt better. Well... We got there, one way or another. You can rest here for as long as you need. It's not very late right now, but something tells me you're sleeping through till tomorrow afternoon. I'd never wake you up. Not when you're this tired. Oh. Oh, you really are so cute. And too stubborn for your own good. But I like that too. I like everything about you. We've been friends for so long. When are you going to notice that it's time to be more? I mean, I've been there for you every single time you needed it. When that bitch cheated on you, 
when your dog died, when that group did that thing we don't talk about. You've been there for me too. When I was bullied, when my parents were always by each other's side. Why not just make it official? Oh, of course, I'm only asking this while you're asleep. I'd never work up the courage if you were awake. Mm, I, I don't think I'd ever work up the courage for this either. Mm. Someday I'll do that while you're awake. Just a little kiss on the forehead. Just enough to let you know that you're loved. I want that so badly. Someday. Well, much as I'd love to keep laying here with you, I do have to do homework. And you'd probably think it was weird if you woke up still holding me. So I'll just... Uh, uh, huh? What? You're not letting me go. What? Did your arms just lock around me while you were falling asleep? <laughs> That's... Really sweet, actually. You don't want to let me go. Alright. Then... I can sleep here too. I won't even need good dreams. Falling asleep with you holding me is all the dream I need. I just need... Enough room uh, to flip over there. Because let me tell you a secret. I do like being the little spoon. I'll see you in the morning, my love. You might not be my love when I wake up, but I'll love you all the same. I'm so happy you feel safe around me.